Hi everyone, my name is Jeff Challen, and on behalf of the entire CS125 course staff, I'd like to welcome you to this semester of CS125. It's going to be a really exciting semester, and I'm really excited to start working with you tomorrow as we learn computer science and programming together over the course of this fall. Um, this semester, we have some really new and exciting things to share with you. As part of getting you started and off and running, I thought I would walk through some of the sort of first steps getting started with this class. So uh, to do that, you want to browse over to the, uh, the course website, which is where I'm going to take you now. That's cs125.cs.illinois.edu. Um, the uh, page that you'll arrive at will look something like this. Um, this is, and has this link here, to a series of getting started steps that I'm just going to kind of walk you through quickly. All right, so one of the first things you have to do when you join the class is you need to turn on uh, Google Apps integration with your at Illinois uh, email address. So this is a pretty straightforward thing to do. We have some instructions here. They're pretty short. Um, Illinois has something called the cloud dashboard that you go to. Uh, I'm going to log in here. I'll probably have to go through the duo, so I'll do that. Um, when I get through this dialog and to the actual uh, screen, what's going to happen is there's going to be a pretty simple uh, checkbox that I'm going to enable that's going to turn on Google Apps integration for my Illinois account. We use this to allow you to log in. So I've already done this. You can see over here, mine is on. Uh, you'll need to accept a term of service. Um, we use this to allow you to log into the website, to log into the forum, and it's a big part of what we do in this class. So first step, turn that on. The second step is to actually go to the course forum. So this is where a lot of the fun stuff that we're going to do this semester is going to take place. This is where you go to ask questions. This is where you go to find out information about the course. We will send out some mass emails this week, but we don't do a lot of that. I actually like you to get in the habit of coming to the course forum, checking in, seeing what's going on. Um, there's a link here. Once you have your Illinois uh, email integration turned on, you should be able to join us on the forum. My view looks a little bit different than yours because I'm a staff member and so I have access to some different categories. Uh, but we're going to start posting things here in the uh, fall 2020 announcements category. One thing I would encourage you to do, Discourse, which is the forum software that we use for this class, has a number of different options allowing you to um, customize the um, sort of the notifications that you get for a particular part of the form. So you'll see over here on the right, there's this little thing that looks like a bell. If I click on that, it's going to bring up a different set of uh, options as far as notifications. Um, and you can kind of read these and get a sense of what they are. There's also a way to turn on email notifications if you want. To do that, uh, I haven't done this in a while. So let's see, I think we go over here. So you click on your uh, avatar up here and then on your username. Uh, go over here to preferences. And then there's this email setting. I have mine turned off because I'm on the forum all the time, so I don't need email reminders. Uh, but some of you may want to turn these on so that when we post something in the announcements category, which is information that you are responsible for, you find out about it right away. Now you don't have to worry about it. Uh, a lot of you will be on the forum on a regular basis, so this won't be a big deal. Um, but you probably want to turn on some type of notification for the announcements category so you make sure that you keep up with what's going on in the class. All right, next thing. So on the website this semester, uh, we want to get to know you better. In the past, we would do that in person, but we're not together this semester. Uh, and so what we're going to do instead is we're going to try a variety of things online this semester to try to make sure that we maintain the personal touch that uh, really makes this course so wonderful. Um, one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to ask you to fill out a little bit of information about yourself. Again, this is my view. Yours is going to look a little bit different, um, but just sort of fill in some information about who you are, what you're trying to get out of the class. There's a place here if you need accommodations to request those, although we will need documentation to back that up. Um, one of the things we'd love you to have you do is actually stick in a, a YouTube video. Uh, let's see if I put mine back in here, you'll see what the preview looks like. So um, shoot a short YouTube video, introduce yourself to us, tell us a little bit about you, where you are, where you're from, what you're hoping to get out of the class, post it to YouTube, put the link in here. If you do this, um, you will be eligible for a little bit of an extra credit boost. And this is information that will only be shared with the staff. Now, people is one of the things that makes this course so great. And so one of the things that you can do as you're sort of browsing around the website is head over to our staff page where you'll see all of the different people that are involved with the class. We have a large, diverse, and really awesome course staff this semester. I'm really excited about working with them. 
Um, that includes uh, undergraduate course staff, we have quite a few of those, and also some graduate teaching assistants as well. Some of them have actually started to post some of their own introduction videos, which is really great. So if you see a YouTube link here, you can click on that and find out a little bit more about that person. Um, you'll be meeting, and again, my view here is a little bit different than yours. You won't have a delete button. Um, but this is, you know, again, just designed to kind of help you find out a little bit more about the people that really make up um, this class and make it so wonderful, and the people that you'll be interacting with throughout the course of the semester. All right, so back to our checklist. Um, this week we have a lot of exciting things coming up as part of the course. So the uh, syllabus will talk a little bit and on the forum we'll talk a little bit about how this course is going to work. But this is fully asynchronous. Um, there's only one place every week we'll expect you to be and that's lab. But we'll talk a little bit about, more about that uh, tomorrow. But the, despite the fact that we're going to be posting materials for you to work through every day on your own time, there's still a lot going on with this class this semester. In fact, probably more than we've ever had in the past. So here's our, our course calendar. This is a calendar that you can add on, uh, to your own calendar, on Google Calendar, or just come and, and browse periodically when you're trying to figure out what's going on. And you'll see that we've got it packed with activities this week. Um, these are all uh, on Zoom. The links are all posted as, as part of the, uh, the calendar um, information. And quite a few of these are designed for new students. Um, to help you sort of get started with the class, make sure you have everything set up properly, make sure you're kind of getting started with working through our daily lessons, meeting other students in the class, interacting with court staff. So some of these are special that we're only doing on the first week. And then there's also some that we're gonna continue throughout the course of the semester. So if you, if you all fast forward here to the next week, and you'll see that even um, next week, we still have a lot of things happening on any given day. Now, one thing I want to be very, very clear about right away is that you are not required to go to any of these sessions. You can go to zero and still get credit for this class. We expect you to go through the daily lessons, which we're going to post, on your own time. These are all designed for people that want a little bit more interaction with other students or the course staff, want some extra help, you know, and they're really designed to support your daily routine of learning computer science and growing as a programmer uh, this semester. So, you know, I'll allow you to go through the calendar on your own. You can ask questions if you have some suggestions or ideas about new sessions that you want us, us to set up. Please let me know. Um, the other thing that's so exciting about this whole thing is that the course staff that are involved with this are fantastic. And so, you know, a chance to interact with them and learn from them and hear their wisdom about things and just be around their positive spirit is, is really a great part of this class. Okay. Uh, we've got a syllabus online. The syllabus has a lot of information about the class. Again, all the nuts and bolts and gritty details. I would encourage you to at least sort of go through um, some of the course activities uh, portion of the syllabus to, to get a sense of how we're going to do this this semester. Um, we'll talk about that again tomorrow. Um, but, you know, this, this will give you a little bit of a sense of, of, of what's happening. Uh, but the syllabus is designed as sort of a reference document for you to return to. It's not something you should try to sit down and read. It's fairly long and detailed at places. But if you have a question about the class, it's a great place to start. Um, okay, finally, one of the things that we're going to do every week, every day actually, is that at 11 o'clock Central Time, I'm going to do a walkthrough of that day's lesson. This is not a lecture. It's not going to be done in lecture formats. I'm going to try to have a little fun with it. And we're going to be a little more casual than that. Um, but it is something that I'm going to do to kind of help support your growth and your understanding of the material. So again, we post a lesson every day at 11 o'clock. You're welcome to come join me. I'm going to be doing this on YouTube live. Uh, I'll post a link to the stream every day uh, that you're welcome to kind of, you know, wake up, join up with the stream, you know, get a sense of what's going on that day and what you have to work on. Um, and then, you know, use that to kind of anchor your daily practice of learning this material. Um, this is not required. It's not lecture. Um, you know, I don't know how many people are going to show up on a daily basis. There's a group of course staff that are going to be reviewing the same lesson a few hours later. So you don't have to come to my review if you'd rather hear it from them. Um, and you're also welcome to just go through the material on your own and learn it that way. But this is something that, again, I don't want you to think of this as lecture. It's not. Um, it's not required. It's more hours a week than lecture would normally would be, but it's something that I'm doing to kind of you know, try to pitch in and, and contribute in my own way to the content that the course staff has put together. All right, so that's it. That will uh, get you bootstrapped. Um, and, you know, again, just to, just to come back, you know, uh, full screen and say, I'm really excited you guys are here. 
and I am looking forward to a fantastic semester. Um, we're doing a lot of new things this semester with how we're presenting this material. I have a fantastic course staff and they really are what's very special about this class. Um, you know, when you think about, you know, what makes this different from just learning the material online, it's the people behind this. And you have so many different opportunities this semester to interact with them. So that's going to be fantastic. All right. I will see you guys all, uh, or at least I shouldn't say I'll see you guys all because again, it's not required. I'm still getting used to this, this new system myself. I will see some of you tomorrow at 11 o'clock. We'll post our first lesson for you to work through tonight. It's really introductory material, mainly talking about how the course is going to work and getting you used to some of the new systems and some of the new uh, media that we're going to be using. Um, but, you know, please go through it tomorrow and uh, post on the forum if you have any questions. All right. It's great to see you guys. I hope to see some great introduction videos as part of your profiles and uh, get excited. Uh, we start in earnest tomorrow.